Welcome to another Anatomy and Clay video production. Recently, members of our team traveled to Pueblo Community College to speak with Lynn Ross, coordinator of the New Human Anatomy Learning Center, or HALSI for short. She gives us a tour of the facility and talks with us about how she incorporates the Anatomy and Clay learning system into her trifecta approach to studying human anatomy. Let's take a look. Hello, and welcome to the Human Anatomy Learning Center here at Pueblo Community College. My name is Lynn Ross. I'm the coordinator of the Human Anatomy Learning Center. We call it the HALSI for short. I thought I'd just give you a little tour of the facility and show you how we designed it for student learning and student engagement. As students come in the doorway, they're encouraged to put their personal items in a locker. We ask students to come in the classroom, pick up a clipboard, and then come in and have a seat in our classroom. In the classroom, we'll give them some instructions on the uh, activity that they're going to be doing. If it's the very first time here, we want to give them some of an orientation so that they're used to the cadaver. For a lot of students, it's the first time they've ever seen a cadaver and we want to prepare them for that. So once students have their instructions and their worksheet and they know what they're supposed to be doing with the activity, then they go into their small groups and they'll um, get set up into their different um, stations. So station one is always this smaller room here in the beginning. It just lends itself better to studying models. And after about 15 or 20 minutes, they'll rotate stations. So this would be station one, and they would rotate into room two, where we also would have it set up to be models. Breaking into the small groups allows more students to be able to be active and, and engaged in the activity. From here, they would go into the cadaver room that was, is usually station three or station four, or, or both, because we do have two cadavers. And here you can see we have downdraft dissection tables, which are set up to pull air across the body, and it goes out into the uh, environment and it becomes dispersed. We have a custom-made refrigeration unit. After they are in this station, they're going to move to the next station, which is primarily in the hallway here, this anatomage table. Sometimes we'll have stations set up at the two tables if we're doing a lab exam. When students come to the lab for the first time and they come to this station, they're given an orientation so that they learn how to navigate the table. They learn how to tilt the table. They learn how to identify structures on the table. That way, when they come on subsequent visits, they know how to work the table. They can be self-sufficient. Oftentimes, we'll use the second anatomage table in the classroom as station six, or there may be other models set up in here, or there may be anatomy and clay set up in here. It just depends on the activity, but we're able to use this um, as a station as well. Well, thank you for your attention to this brief tour where I was just showing you a little bit of how we utilize the anatomy center here at Pueblo Community College, the Human Anatomy Learning Center. The building lends itself to a lot of different things that we can do here. It's really a multi-purpose facility. I just wanted to give you a general overview of how we set up activities in here for students for hands-on engaging learning of anatomy. I help faculty to design hands-on, engaging activities to facilitate the content that it's just a different delivery format here, it's hands-on here, versus what their, their delivery format in a lecture class, for example. The ability, the facility to uh, come in here and and put it you know, to practical use, really. It's just been a great benefit. It's a great tool that I'm very proud of that we have at this school. I learned more from the anatomosh table and the clay versus the cadaver just because it's uncomfortable for some students and I was one of them. So having different components here at this learning center while you're still able to learn what you need to and see it, it just was great. Once 
the department chair, the kinesiology instructor for OTA changed her platform. She changed her curriculum and we were doing the anatomy and clay. Her final exam was the same, but the delivery format had changed significantly. And those students, they, the, average, the average score for those students jumped up into the, I mean, she had more students getting A's, more students getting high B's than, than ever before. So we actually did a little assessment of student learning study. Because I think most students are hands-on learners. They're kinesthetic learners. They need to move their whole body. They need to feel it and see it. But they're also visual learners, and they need to be able to turn the model around and see it on all sides. You know, the human body is three-dimensional, and when you try to teach it using a textbook, a picture is two-dimensional. You don't get an accurate representation of whatever it is you're looking at. I just think students learn the anatomy much better. Um, it's hands-on, they can see it, they can feel it. Um, they have to build it, they have to think it through. They remember the structures, they understand why they're there. It, it's really a phenomenal tool. It really helped with using different colors of clay. I'm also a very hands-on learner. So just having that in your hands, it really makes the experience a lot better. Um, for me personally, it made it stick more in my head. Out of all the resources that I have, no matter how, I mean, how great this is, the technology involved in this, and how cool it is, and how functional it is to be able to rotate it, remove things, the cadaver where you can see all kinds of things, the models, all of those are great resources, but I really feel that the most valuable resource we have is the anatomy and clay. When you put it in people's hands and they have to build it, there's a level of knowledge that that taps into that none of these other resources even scratch the surface on.